We're in this mess because society's lost sight of what's most important. What matters most to me is my faith and my family. And I know I'm not the only one who believes that way. So we're joining together as God-fearing men and women to take the light into the darkness. Well, it's hard to believe we're wrapping up our fifth season here on Final Descent Outdoors, and we hope that our next five are just as amazing as our first five have been. And so today we're going to be counting down our top ten favorite hunts from this past five seasons. At number 10, staffer Brad Russell tries his hand in an archery antelope hunt in Colorado with Echo Hunt Club. The air stopped. Oh, he's bleeding bad. He's bleeding bad. Oh, yeah. Stay on him. Oh, yeah, right in the shoulder. Stay on him. Heart shot. Oh, oh sweet. Yes, he's down. This is an awesome buck for a first buck for any buck. Number nine, we get the chance to tag along with our friends Russell and Randy Hobbs as they head to Africa and Randy gets to take her first animal ever on this hunt. Thank you, everybody, for setting me up for this for my first hunt. Next thing I know, it's my turn. My rite of passage, and here Chris is um, <laughs> getting out a piece of its liver. I mean, just as bloody hand as could be, and that was disgusting. <laughs> I'm gonna count to 10, and it's down until we get a bigger piece okay, of okay. Okay, swallow. 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 I can't swallow. have no slide. Swallow, there's one. Swallow. Oh, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> get it down before you do anything else. Here we go, John. <laughs> That's so funny, I'm crying. Oh, God. That's good. That's good for your skin. It stinks. That's very good for your skin. I'll be nice to you. I won't put it under your nose. <laughs> Number eight on our list. Join former staffer Michael Harrell as he takes a great buck in 2012 with his muzzleloader.
Well, it's November 4th, last evening of muzzleloader. We saw this buck last night. This is DB. We got tons of trail cam pics of him. And we set up in this barn you can see over my shoulder. I can't believe it worked. Number seven. Join me in Colorado hunting elk with RC Outfitters. First ever bull elk. We're with uh, RC Outfitters out of uh, Lake City, Colorado. Really a neat organization. Number six. Join me in Kansas with Home Run Outfitters as I take a great buck over a Montana decoy. Well, the deer is at eight yards, and I go to draw my bow. Lesson learned, folks. Make sure you push your cell phone way down into your pocket. In the process of drawing, I knock my cell phone out of my pocket. It falls down the tree, and of course, the buck knows. Well, this buck goes from eight yards to 40 yards, but he can't get over the fact that we have this decoy out, and he's just rutting so hard. I mean, he just, he loses his mind and ends up coming back down the hill a little ways, which gives me and Dylan a chance to get turned and get back over here. Really? I freaking drilled him, dude. I drilled him. I mean, just yes. We put out the decoy, and I gotta tell you, I'm, I, I'm gonna kiss a decoy. Thank you. Oh. Man, he come right to us. He was standing in front of us at eight yards. Great place to come, man, with uh, Home Run Outfitters here. And Northwest Kansas. Number five. Well, we're joining up with our buddy Trey with Double A Outfitters in Wyoming, and he's pulling off an unbelievable spot and stock archery hunt on a giant full velvet muley. You just get beside me. Look for the one with the real chocolate. Right there. Behind the camera, it never run camera for, right? No. Totally new at it. Did an on a spot and stock hunt in this this country. Pulled it off. Got amazing footage of this deer, and uh, you, you made a great shot on him. And he's making 150 yards, tumble down the canyon, and uh, absolutely gorgeous, man. I mean, unbelievable deer. Number four. We join Adam Nicholas in Kansas in 2013, bow hunting whitetail with Home Run Outfitters.
that a boy. Well, I'm here with uh, Darren Wheeler of Home Run Outdoors and Home Run Outfitters here in Northwest Kansas, and this giant came in tonight. We had three big bucks come in tonight, and that 10 point that came in would have, might have outscored this one, but you know what? This is a big mature deer, and this is what you can expect in Northwest Kansas. Number three. We're heading up a tree with former staffer Michael Harrell as he takes a 180 inch Oklahoma Giant. Jesus, look at that man. Oh my god, he's a giant dude. I'm sorry, I told you all. Dude, dude. Thank you, Lord. I've got to hunt one time besides this morning. And I did not expect this deer to come out here. Me and Adam come in here earlier and threw out some feed and we poured a big pile of buck blitz and they come into it. This is Big Bob from last year. We only saw him on the hoof one time last year. And he was a mainframe 10 point. And we let him grow and look what he turned into. He's got 20 points. I'm almost in a state of shock, folks. This is the largest buck I've ever taken. Number two, we get to join former staffer Russell Hobbs in New Zealand as he has a chance to take an unbelievable red stag. Super wide, mate. Super so, wide. I'm uh, super excited about this uh, stag. It was one of the things on my bucket list to say for sure to come to New Zealand and shoot a stag. That's every hunter's dream, I think, come true. Yeah, it is, mate. Yep. Uh, he's got real light horns. Just a beautiful animal. And number one on our list, the Carriker Buck. Jason Carriker gets a chance to take a 200 inch giant, truly a buck of a lifetime. I knew I didn't have much time, so I slowly got the knight up into position to squeeze the trigger. killed the biggest buck of my life and he is laying right over there oh, thank you Lord thank you Lord this has been a long time coming he's right there right there 
first of all, I just want to thank God for giving me the opportunity to harvest this deer. Well, we hope you've enjoyed not only today's episode, but the first five seasons of Final Descent Outdoors. We're so blessed to be able to do this, and we're excited about the future here at FDO. Satan, your kingdom must come down. Satan, your kingdom must come down. I heard the voice of Jesus say, well, all of these hunts have been an absolute blast to film, but the end result for all of this has been to glorify Jesus. I mean, if you watch our show, you know that that's what this is all about. And Final Descent actually comes from Scripture, our name. Maybe you didn't know that, but it comes from Mark 13, 32, and 33, which says, No one knows the day of the hour of the Lord's return, not the angels in heaven nor the sun. So we're called to be on alert, be on guard, because no one knows when Christ will make his final descent. I'm gonna pray until they take kingdom down. I heard the voice of Jesus say, Satan, your kingdom must come down. You see, none of us know when Jesus is coming back. We don't know the day or the hour, but we do know that those who've accepted him as their savior will have an opportunity to spend eternity in heaven. Shout until they take kingdom down. We're gonna shout until they take kingdom down. So the question for you today is this: Do you know Jesus as your Savior? If you don't, I want to encourage you to ask Him to forgive you of your sins, to come into your life, uh, to be the Lord of your life, and then for you to believe that He is who He says He is. If you have any questions about coming to know Christ, go to our website, send us an email, go to Facebook, shoot us a message. We want to help you enter into a relationship with Jesus because that's what Final Descent Outdoors is all about. I hope you've enjoyed Season 5 and we'll see you next year.